Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to overclock your monitor. So what this does is it allows you to have higher refresh rates on your monitor, which makes you see more frames on the screen and makes everything look a bit smoother. This varies monitor to monitor. Some monitors have better overclocking ability than others. So yeah. So what you want to type in is custom resolution utility. The links will be in the description. Click the first link by monitor test. Once the page opens, there's a download link. Just click it and click download. Once it downloads, you're going to want to extract it to its own folder and open the folder. So there's four files in here. These are the files that you're going to be using. So what you want to open up first is the CRU, which is the custom resolution utility. If it asks for user account control, just click yes. So once you open it up, this is what the program is going to look like. You want to click the right monitor in the top left and make sure that it's active. Once you have the right monitor selected, just click add and type in the refresh rate and the resolution that you want to have custom. The best thing to do is make the mode on LCD reduced, which lowers the megahertz, making the new configuration more likely to work. After you add the detailed resolution, just click OK and then run restart 64 if you're on 64 bit and just restart if you're on 32 bit to restart your graphics driver. Once it's restarted, then just go to display settings, then click the right monitor, make sure it's the right one, display adapter properties. In the monitor tab, you should have the new refresh rate. You just click apply and if it works, then it worked successfully and the refresh rate was fine. If your screen goes black and you don't see anything on your screen, just wait for about 15 seconds and the settings will reset back to its original settings. Also, if it doesn't show up, that means that your custom resolution doesn't work either. So, so what you want to do is tweak your settings so that it shows up and everything works correctly. So that's the end of the tutorial. Please leave a like if this helped you. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on my next video slash stream. Goodbye.